Hi guys, my name is Tana. Welcome to today's power yoga workout. Today's power yoga flow is designed to uplift, energize you as we build strength and tone through our whole body. Remember to like this video, give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe for new flows every single week. All right, when you're ready, we're going to start standing at the back of our space. So you can come to the back of your mat. Just bring your feet parallel, hip width apart and then bring your hands to face forwards. Lift up through the crown of your head. We'll take three grounding breaths here to allow us to drop into our body and connect to the present moment. On your next breath in, you can sweep your arms up, finding a high mountain pose, reaching up. And then exhale, wave all the way down to the floor, bowing your chest over your legs. Bend into your knees a lot. And then breathe in, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards, bend into your knees generously. Placing the left hand to the floor, melt your right hand up into the air, straighten out through your right leg, keeping your left leg bent and really breathe fully into your hamstring line here. And then exhale, lowering the right hand down, changing sides, reaching up through your left arm. If you need to keep your legs slightly bent, that's totally fine. Just keep rooting into your feet. And then exhale, both hands lower down to the mat. Taking a breath in, halfway lift. As you exhale, bend your knees and walk forwards into a high plank pose. Taking as much time as you need, plug into your hands, really push away from the earth and drive back into your heels, feeling the energy move all the way up the back line of your body. Taking an inhale here. And then as you exhale, slowly bend the elbows and come all the way down to the mat, chaturanga. Finding a cobra pose, lifting your heart forwards, inhale. Exhale, softening to the mat. And again, breathe in, reach through your chest. Breathing out, softening. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Lovely, take the hands behind you now. Finding a locust variation, lifting your chest, lifting the legs and reaching the hands towards your feet. Try to lift your knees off the floor if you can and pull the belly to the spine. Holding and breathing. For one, for two, for three, for four, and for five. Lovely, hands to the floor, plug into the palms, and take it back into a tabletop position. Curling your toes under now. Let's take a cow pose, lift up through your breastplate, breathing in, and then breathing out. Downward facing dog, reaching your hips all the way back. Inhale, lift the heels, sink your knees to the mat, coming into a cow position, push the shoulders back, and then exhale again, down dog, reach into your hips. And again, inhale, finding that breath through the movement, warming up the spine. Exhale, dog. Inhale, lift, sink the knees down, breathe into the breastplate. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, cow pose, lift up through your heart. And exhale, melt back, drive the heart to the thighs, downward facing. One more time, inhale, push into the hands, reach through your chest. Exhale, down dog, push into your hands a lot. Really drive your heart to your legs. On your next breath in, step your right foot outside of your right hand, finding a lizard, just warming up through your hip flexors and inner thighs here before we get into it. Drive the chest and the hips forwards, breathing in. And then as you breathe out, finding a long pyramid pose. So work towards straightening out your front leg, keeping the back leg bent a little bit if you need, breathing in. And then breathing out, rock forwards, coming into a squat, malasana, heels and toes out. Coming to the front of your space, bring the hands together at the chest, push the palms firmly together and breathe. Exhale, we'll straighten out through the legs, growing tall, lifting up through your kneecaps. 
And then exhale, bring the hands into your chest. Inhale, lengthen out of your waistband. And then exhale, squat. Nice active position here. Reach the hands out in front of you, breathing here. And then breathe out, plug the hands into the floor. You can step or jump back into a plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana to an upward facing, lifting up through your heart center. Exhale, down dog, leading with the hips, reaching back through your tailbone. Stepping your left foot outside of your left hand, lizard pose. Pull the lower belly in as you lift up through your heart. And then exhale, long pyramid, bowing over the left leg, plugging into the back foot. Breathe in, rock the body forwards to a lunge. And then exhale, Malasana, again, coming into your squatted position. This time we're gonna come straight into an active squat. So reach the hands forwards, sink your hips nice and low, but try to lengthen up through your head. Nice and strong through your legs. Breathe in, straighten out through the legs, grow tall, lifting up. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Inhale, rise, reach up. Exhale, find your squat. Plug the hands into the floor. We'll step or jump back, plank position. And finding your flow, chaturanga. To an upward facing, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, flipping over the feet downward, facing dog. Beautiful, take a breath in. And out. On the next inhale, begin to lift your heels off the floor, crouching dog, draw your chest to your thighs. Step or jump to the front, meeting in a squatted position. Arms reach forwards, getting nice and low, breathing in. And then breathing out, straightening out through those legs, clasping your hands together at the top. Exhale, bring the hands into your heart. Inhale, reach again, lengthening up. And exhale, finding your squat. Plugging the hands down into the floor, step or jump back, plank pose. Finding your vinyasa, chaturanga. Breathing into an upward facing, pushing into the tops of your feet. Tucking the chin, exhale, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, send the right leg high, three-legged dog. Flaring your hip open, draw the heel to the bum. And then exhale, knee to your right elbow, rounding through the upper back. Knee to your left elbow. Inhale, kicking back, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step right forwards. Peel your heart forwards and up. And then exhale, long pyramid pose, bowing over your right shin. Inhale, rock the body forwards to a lunge. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart center. We will twist now to the right side, hooking your left elbow outside the right thigh. You can lower the left knee to the floor if you need, otherwise keep it lifted, keep the leg energized and breathe. Warrior two now, cartwheel the hands to the sides of your space. Get rooted into your feet and then inhale, straighten out through the legs, draw the hands together at the top. Exhale, lowering back down. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in reverse, your warrior reaching up. Breathing out, take a wide-legged forward fold, bowing straight down. Really root into your feet, reach up through your hips. And then breathe in together, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, back of your space facing your left foot, taking a breath in. Breathing out, easy twist, reach your left hand up, reach into your hand. Come onto the edge of your right foot, find a side plank pose. Try to lift away from your right wrist, lifting up through both of your hips. Breathing. Lovely, left hand lowers to the mat. We'll pull our left knee into our chest now. And then inhale, reaching it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose, round in through the spine. Hold here for breath. 
Listening carefully, sink your left knee to the mat. Spin the left foot over to the side. You'll find a supported side plank. Reach your right hand up and over. And then pick your back right foot off the floor. Bend into the leg. Option to find a bind here. Right hand meets the right ankle. Taking a breath into your chest. Nice. Drop the foot back down to the mat. We'll pull our left knee into our chest. Inhale, reaching back, three-legged dog. Exhale, warrior two, stepping it forwards. Getting rooted into your feet, breathing in. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, rainbow warrior, bending into the right, straightening through your left. Inhale, reversing again, gliding forwards, reaching up. And then as you exhale, taking a wide legged forward fold, bowing straight down. One breath here, really push into the feet, reaching up through your hip points. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, low lunge, top of your space. Plug into the hands, taking it back into a plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana, squeezing the elbows in to an upward facing, lifting up through the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, reaching all the way back. Take a spacious breath. And then lift your left leg high, three-legged dog. Bending into the left leg, rooting into your right foot a lot. Knee to your left elbow. Hollowing out through your armpits. Knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale, reaching back, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Softly landing forwards, peeling the heart forwards in between the gates of your shoulders. Exhale, long pyramid pose. Moving with the breath here. Inhale, rock forwards to a lunge. Hands melt together at the heart. We'll twist to our left side. Use that elbow for leverage to find that lift away from your left thigh. Breathe into your chest, collarbones broad. Feeling the energy of the heat. Slowly taking it to the side, warrior two. Get rooted, get grounded. Okay, let's go for it. Inhale to lift, lifting up through the kneecaps. Exhale, lowering back down. And again, inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Nice, exhale. And one more time, breathe in, reaching up. Breathing out, warrior two. Taking a reverse warrior, extending up and over. And then exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Spin your toes inward slightly, push into the edges of your feet. And inhale, halfway. Breathing into the heart, into the inner thighs. Exhale, low lunge, back of your space. Plug into your left hand. We'll come straight into an easy twist when you're ready. Finding that nice active twist through the torso. Coming onto the edge of your left foot, side plank pose. Lifting up through the bottom hip, feeling your obliques turn on, your side body engage. Take a moment to breathe. And then when you're ready, plank, you'll pull your right knee into your chest area. Inhale, reaching back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose, round and through the upper back, holding and breathing. Sinking your right knee to the mat, supported side plank, stretching your left hand up and over. Okay, same thing, picking up the left foot and bending into that leg. If you took a bind here on the other side, go ahead and find it now. Otherwise, you can just keep this left leg hovering here, just keeping everything nice and active. Push into those right fingers so you're nice and supported. Taking one more breath. And then nice and slowly drop the foot to the mat. We're going to pull the right knee into our chest. Inhale, reach back, three-legged dog. Exhale, warrior two. Getting rooted into your feet, lengthening through your crown. Reversing your warrior on the inhale. Exhale, rainbow warrior, sweeping the hands behind you. And then breathe in, rocking forwards, reverse, extending out through your arm. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Keep your legs active, everything engaged, turned on. And then breathe in, halfway lift. 
Breathing out, low lunge to the left foot, top of your space. Root into the hands, take it back into a plank pose. Chaturanga of your choice, you might come all the way to the floor or halfway. Upward facing or a cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push into the paddings of your hands, into the balls of your feet. Come back to your breath. And then listen carefully, lift your heels off the floor. Crouching dog, chest to your thighs, bend into your knees a lot. Look in between your hands and step or jump to the front into a squat, Malasana, okay. Don't worry about how you got there. <laughs> Draw your hands together at the heart. Lift up through your head, lengthen your lower back and breathe. And then reach the hands all the way forwards. You're coming into more of an active squatted position. Lifting your hips slightly up, breathe. I know it's super strong. Okay, inhale, straighten out through the legs, feeling the energy move up your spine, up your arms. Exhale, bring the hands into your chest. Start to walk your feet closer together now, so the hip width apart. And then inhale, high mountain, lengthen. Exhale, wash your chest over your legs, fold forwards. Breathing into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Utkatasana, grazing the fingertips to the floor, reaching up through your arms. Draw your tailbone in a little bit and really try to drive into your heels. Draw your hands together at the heart. We will twist to our right side now. Left elbow outside the right thigh. Okay, listening carefully. Pick your left foot off of the floor. We will step the left foot behind us in a twisted lunge. So, bit of a tricky transition. Don't worry if you're falling around. It's okay, just come back to it. Push the palms firmly together and breathe. Warrior two. Take it to the side of your space, get rooted. And then once again, breathe in, straighten out through the legs, growing tall. Exhale, lower. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last round. Breathe in, lift. And exhale, lower. Warrior two. Listening carefully, pick your right heel off the floor. So you're pushing down into the ball of your right foot. Really strong through the back of your leg. Hold and breathe. Stay with it if you can. One more breath. Beautiful, guys. Ground the heel into the floor. Reverse your warrior. Ooh, can feel that glute. <laughs> Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Prasarita Padotadasana. Let's take a breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, back of your space. Drive the heart and the hips down. And then root into the hands. Meet in a three-legged dog. You'll kick your left leg into the air. Reach into your foot, bend into the knee. Option here to find a wild thing if you're ready for it. Flipping your dog. Firm into your bum, reach through your chest. Taking a leisurely moment here to breathe, to expand. And then when you're ready to come out of it, left hand meets the earth. Pull the left knee into your nose. Inhale, reaching back, three-legged dog. Exhale, warrior two, stepping forwards. Hands out to the sides, getting rooted. Staying with me. Trikonasana, triangle pose now. Reach up through your right arm, really firm into your feet, firming the bum. Reversing your triangle, stretching up through your left arm. As you breathe out, Finding a low lunge, spinning all the way to the front of your mat, facing your right foot, taking a breath in. And then exhale, drive your left knee down to meet your right foot, coming into a kneeling position. So you're gonna lengthen up through your crown, growing tall, breathing here for a moment. Push into your right foot now, standing splits, you'll kick your left leg into the air. So you can have your fingers to the floor, really drive into the heel, breathe into the inner thigh. Exhale, both feet meet the floor, find a fold over your legs. 
Inhale, high mountain pose, growing tall, reaching into your fingers as you push into your feet. Exhale, bring the hands into the heart. And again, inhale, high mountain pose, lengthening. And then we'll fold forwards, exhale, wash the chest over your thigh bones. Utkatasana, chair pose, bend into the knees, get really low through the hips. Sink your hips back, push into the heels. And then draw your hands together at the chest, twisting to the left side, other side here. Broaden through your heart, through the collarbones, and slowly with control, pick your right foot off the floor. Stepping the foot slowly behind you in that twisted lunge position. I know it's a tricky one. Always can drop the back right knee to the floor if you need. Take one more breath here. Warrior two, taking it slow if you need. Get grounded into your feet, breathe in. And then inhale, straighten out through the legs, lengthening upwards. Exhale, lowering back down into your warrior. And again, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, breathe in, reach. And breathe out, warrior two. Picking your left heel off the floor, so your front heel. Lifting it off the floor as much as you can. You can feel your glutes really start to fire up, holding, just breathing into it. See if you can hold it. Beautiful, drop the heel down to the mat. And then reverse, slowly breathing in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Melt your body down in between your legs, reach up through your hip points, and take a spacious moment. <sighs> Slowly sipping the air in, halfway lift. Breathing out, low lunge, facing your back foot. Plug into your hands, take it back into a three-legged dog, staying present, staying aware of your body and what's going on. Bend into the leg, wild thing. Flipping your dog. Use your feet, find the activity through your legs to find the lift through your pelvis and your heart. Breathing. Lower the hips down first. Your right knee will pull into your nose and then kick it all the way back, three-legged dog. Exhale, warrior two, stepping it forwards, almost there, getting rooted into your feet. Exhale, triangle pose. Keeping those legs turned on. Keeping your breath flowing steady. Inhale, reverse your triangle. And then exhale, low lunge. Spinning over to face the front of your mat for your left foot. One breath in. Breathing out, glide your right knee down, baby Hanuman. Dropping your bum onto your right heel. Lift up through your head. Roll the shoulders down and back. Okay, coming into our standing splits. You ready? Push into the left foot, reach your right leg into the air. Lift up through your foot and breathe. Exhale. Both feet meet the floor. Find a fold over your legs. Relax your face for a breath. Hmm. Slowly breathe in, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold forwards. Last chair of the day, guys, before we wind down, bend into those knees, reach the arms up, come into a really low chair. So as if you're about to sit on the floor, as low as you can go, quite literally. Breathe, pull the navel in, holding for one more breath. And then sink the bum all the way down to find a seat. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> Draw the soles of the feet together. Come into butterfly pose. Hands around the edges of your feet. Draw the knees down to the mat. And then take a breath in and out. You can slowly fold, drawing your chest a little bit closer to your feet to find a deeper stretch. Or you can just stay here with a longer spine. Just finding a few slower moments here. And not skipping this out if you have come this far, but just being in the posture, being in the moment. 
All right, nice work. You can wrap your hands around your thighs and draw the legs together. We're gonna to plug the feet into the floor and reach the hands forwards. And then you can begin to segment your spine down to the floor. Nice and slowly. And then bend into those knees, heels close to your bum. We're gonna find a round of bridge. So push into the feet, lift up through your pelvis and slowly exhale, lower your spine back down to the mat. We'll go for one more round, grounding to lift. Lift your chest up as well. And then exhale, softly lower all the way down. You can gently pull your right knee into your body, wind removing pose, sending your left leg long, squeezing the thigh in. And then as you breathe out, taking the knee to your left side, coming into a twisted position. Just melt your right shoulder down and take a spacious breath. Nice and slow, guide the knee back in, give the leg a squeeze, and then send it out in front of you. Let's change sides when you're ready. Inhale, drawing it fully into your heart, and exhale, taking it to your right side. Melting your left shoulder down to the mat, and just trying to stay present and embodied here. You can gently draw the left knee back in. And then you can draw both of your legs into your chest, wrapping yourself into a little ball before we come into Shavasana. So pull your forehead to your knees and breathing in. And then exhale, letting it all go. Fine, Shavasana. So we'll be here for three minutes. And if you've come this far, I really recommend staying for these three minutes. These three minutes on your mat so much magic can happen. And three minutes out there just go by in a flash. So take these three minutes to just connect, to bathe in your practice. Close the eyes. And really allow the whole body to feel heavy. Loosening everything up. And give yourself permission to be here without needing to be anywhere else for three minutes.
Start to invite deeper breaths into the body. As you bring your awareness gently back into your body and into the space that you're in. And just taking a slow stretch to bring yourself back into your body and into the room. And then when you're ready, you can slowly make your way into a comfortable seat of your choice. Taking as much time as you need, leisurely making your way there. And when you've found your seat, you can place the left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly. And let's breathe in together, breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this power yoga flow. You can always bring a bit of mindfulness into your practice, even if it is a yoga workout. So give me a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you went in the comments below and remember to subscribe. It really helps me, supports my channel and helps me reach more people. So I'd really appreciate it if you did subscribe and maybe send this video on to a friend, um, someone who might enjoy it. Otherwise, I hope you have a beautiful day and do let me know how you went. I always read all of your comments and try to get back to all of you. So yeah, ciao.